good day, grade 8 students. This is quarter four, week six of our regular session entitled Experiment Outcome Sample Space and Event. So, what is the difference between the, uh, the four uh, terms here? Experiment, outcome, sample space, and event. I would like to acknowledge my uh, two colleagues with this presentation. So the first one is me, the second one, uh, the second one and the third one are my colleagues in making this uh, presentation. So uh, let's proceed in our discussion. And here. So what are we going to uh, aim for this session? First one, define the experiment outcome, sample space, event, and cardinality. Identify the experiment outcome, sample space, event, and cardinality. Choose an event from a certain experiment. So if you have your uh, phone with you, you can scan this uh, QR code here from Manila National Capital Region, Philippines Weather Forecast. So if you scan the code here, you will see this. So this is a record of a weather from, uh, uh, from present up to uh, Friday. I guess it's Saturday. Right? From Saturday to Friday. So these are the records of a weather as well as with the humidity, uh, if it is cloudy, uh, the temperature as well, it is also recorded here. Okay. Now observe the data we have. List down your observation from Sunday's weather up to Friday's weather. So let's go back. So this is the Sunday weather up to the Friday uh, weather. What did you observe? What weather do they have? So you can write down your answer in the comment section. And the second one, what will be the weather for Saturday? Okay. So let us answer the first question. What is the weather? What do you think? What is the weather from Sunday up to Friday? So it is sunny with uh, clouds, sunny and uh, partly cloudy. Okay. So if from Sunday up to Friday it is sunny and partly cloudy, maybe on Saturday it is partly cloudy and partly sunny. <laughs> okay. So if it is sunny or cloudy or partly sunny, partly cloudy. Maybe it will rain. Okay. So those are the possible answers for the weather for Saturday. Okay. How did you come up with your answer? So as you can see from Sunday to Friday, we have this pattern. So if, if we have six days of sunny weather and cloudy weather, maybe on the seventh day, we have the same. Or maybe on the seventh day, it is uh, rainy. Now, observe the weather forecast. So we observe the weather forecast. Uh, let's have the fourth question. What weather will you prefer for Saturday? So this is a personal question. If you are going to ask me, I want a sunny day because I want to go outside. <laughs> okay. You can go vacation outside. So well, uh, in our activity, which one is the experiment? So maybe the experiment there is observing the weather. Okay. Uh, that is uh, the use of our senses what, uh, to predict what weather are we going to have on uh, Saturday. Then the outcome uh, is the prediction we have. Okay? The prediction uh, of weather on Saturday. So the sample space, sample space and the choices. What are the choices? We have the sunny, we have the cloudy, we have rainy, so whatever weather we have in our country. In the event, is the weather that we want, the weather we prefer on, on that day. 
Now, so to understand further, let's have another activity. So you have three choices here. Uh, you can talk to your friends what activity are you going to put here. You have a tossing a coin, rolling a die, and turning a spinner. So, in, in 10 minutes, you're going to identify which is the experiment, which is the sample space, which is the outcome. Or should I say experiment first, outcome, sample space, and event. So, when we talk about cardinality, uh, later we're, we're going to talk about the cardinality of the event. Okay. So you may pause this video in 10 minutes. Then after that, uh, we're going to uh, discuss the answers. So let's say uh, 10 minutes is up. Okay. So you're going to answer this question. Define an experiment outcome, sample space, event, and cardinality from the activity itself. So in tossing a coin, what is the experiment there? Of course, tossing a coin. That's the actual you did, you know, the, actual, uh, the actual activity and then experiment. The outcome is either head or tail because it's the only, uh, it's the only image in your uh, coin. Sample space is uh, head or tail. So that's the only thing printed in coin. Right? The event, there's only one event. Right? So you, you can either have a head or tail. So cardinality, when we talk about cardinality, that, that is the number of uh, possible outcome or the number of sample states. Yeah. So the cardinality here is two. Is there's only head and tail. Did you always get the result you want? And so as you toss the coin, did you always get head? Did you always get tail? So it depends. Okay, the second activity is the rolling a die. Okay, so let's uh, define the terms that we have. Experiment is any activity with observable result. So uh, tossing a coin, rolling a die, and turning a spinner, they are all observable results. And the outcome is the result of your experiment. So in coin, it's either head or tail. In rolling a die, it's either one, two, three, four, five, and six. We don't have seven in die. Uh, in turning a spinner, whatever color is uh, there, that would be uh, that would be the result. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. It is usually denoted by capital letter S. So in tossing a coin. How many sample space? Uh, how many elements in the sample space? We have two, the head and tail. Uh, in rolling a die, we have a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In turning a spinner, it depends on how many colors did you put in your spinner. So if we have eight colors, so you have you write here eight. The cardinality, the elements is eight. You have four, three colors only. You want the, the basic one, right? and you write three. The other way around is the event. So event is a subset of sample space and denoted by E. So if sample space is by capital S, uh, event is by E. The number of elements in event is less than or equal to the number of elements in the sample space. So let's say, for example, in, in tossing a coin, the only event you have is either head or tail. So if the sample space is the elements of sample space is two, which is head and tail. The event has only a maximum of two. So it could be less than or equal to. It cannot, it cannot have three. Because we don't have another uh, possible result for the uh, coin. So in rolling a dime, we only have uh, possible element. Uh, we only have uh, we only have maximum of six also. So either, either the result is one, two, three, four, five, and six, but we don't have seven, okay? In, in, in the same with the color. When you spin the wheel, when you spin the uh, color wheel here, it will give you uh, the same number of events. So either red, blue, so 
So whatever uh whatever uh, color you put here. So for instance, in your uh, spinning wheel, you want an event black. Do we have a result for black if you don't have black here? So of course not. So your event there is zero. Okay. So cardinality is the number of elements in a sample space denoted by n of s. So if you have n of, n of s, you are asking for a number of elements for sample space. And you have also e, or in, uh, you're talking about number of elements in e. Okay. Let's have our first example. Directions. Identify which of the following is an outcome, sample space, event and cardinality of sample space and event in an experiment. So uh, we had number one, rolling a die and tossing a coin. So you have here two experiments. You do it simultaneously, rolling a die, tossing a coin. So is that, is that what? <laughs> is that, that's, that's an experiment, rolling a die and tossing a coin. Okay, number two, you have a sample space, one head, one tail, two head, uh, three head, three tail, four head, four tail, five head, five tail, six head, six tail. So these are the all, uh, these are the, the list of all possible outcomes. So how many, how many elements do we have? We have 12. Okay. So number three, the actual result is when you roll a die and toss a coin. So this is the outcome. What is the actual result? For number four, e, you have odd number and a tail up here. So where is the odd number here? If you are going back to the sample space, you have odd number or one, three, and five. Those are the odd number. But you want a tail. So you only have your one tail, one tail, uh, three tail. Five tail, so one three five. So how many? You have three over. You have three over twelve. Three over twelve or what? Oh, you have three. You have the cardinality of three. Yeah. So n of t, odd number and a tail appear. So you have here three. Number five, even number and a head appear. So this is an event. Number four is cardinality because you talk about n of e. E here is an event. So you have two answers for number four, event and cardinality. Okay. Uh, by the way, n of e is equals to one is not connected to uh, the number of event here. That's a separate. This is separate. Let me, let me correct this one. So this is three. And so will not confuse yeah. because you have one, one tail, three tail, five tail, cardinality of three. Uh, number six, odd number and a tail appear. So you have here three also. And even number and a head, so two H, four H, and six H. Add number and a tail appear. That is one, as I said earlier, one tail, three tail, and five tail. Okay, so let's talk about deck of cards. So take note in deck of cards, we don't have joker. So we only have how many pieces of cards? We have 52. We have four, four group, the clubs, spade, heart, and diamond. Okay, so... Each group has a uh, member has A's, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then Jack Queen Queen, I think Queen Jack. So each uh, group has 13 cards. So 13 multiplied by four, all in all, you have 52 cards. From the standard deck of cards. So when we talk about standard deck of cards, there's no joker. There are only 52 uh, cards in a deck of cards. Write the elements of the following events and give its cardinality. So the event we have here is the card chosen is a heart. So all of 
the cards is star. The second one, the card chosen. The card chosen is an ace. The card chosen is king. And the card chosen is queen. Okay, so the first one, the card chosen is a heart. So you have this. So in our event, we event A, hearts composed of ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and jack, queen, and so these are the uh, elements of our event chosen is part. So how many cards do we have? We have 13. So it's cardinality, N of E is 13. The second one, the card chosen is an ace. So these are the ace. So event B, A clubs, A hearts, A hearts, A diamonds, A spades. So the cardinality is four. The third one is queen. So we have king of hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. So the cardinality is four. The card chosen is queen. So you have in our event you have queen of hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. So the cardinality of this is four. Now let's have the practical application. Where are we, where are we going to use this? So a while ago, we predict the weather. Now let's have the other way around. We have here a problem. Consider the cake below. If you slice it equally into a certain number of visitors, how many cake slices have icing on one face, icing on two faces, and icing on three faces? So you will assume first the number of visitors. So maybe you could start with uh, the reasonable. I think the reasonable is, uh, let's say, 10 visitors. Uh, if you include yourself, uh, do not include yourself. <laughs> so we could see. So I, let's say you have 10 visitors. So if you slice the cake in 10 visitors, and you want to give them an uh, equal number of cake, number of slices. Let's say each of your visitor will receive two slices. So 10 times 2, 20. You divide the cake into 20 equal parts. So from 20 equal parts, how many of them, uh, how many of it has one icing, uh, have an icing on one face, icing on two faces, and icing on three faces? So you will investigate. You will uh, write down your uh, your investigation. So how many slices of cake will you give to children? Do you have a uh, visit, uh, children in your visitors list? Which slice of cake will you serve to elderly? So if you, uh, if you have a visitor of children, what a slice are you going to give them? Is it the one, uh, is it the one face icing or icing on two faces the cake or three faces icing whatsoever will you give the visitors an equal numbers of slices or let them get the number of slices they want and why okay. so it's up to, it's up to you to answer so for your uh uh, remember this one, the differentiate an experiment, outcome, sample space, and event. So again, the experiment is the actual, the actual uh, activity with an observable result. Outcome is the result. Sample space is the part, the list of all possible results. And event is the preferred result or expecting result from the experiment. So we have a sort of seat work here. You may take a screenshot on this one, then give your chance, give yourself a chance to answer. Okay. Number one, choosing a card from a deck of cards. Okay. So that is as an experiment because of the word choosing. So yeah, you're actually doing it. Then number two. S is equal to 
x such that x is greater than each subject. And n of, n of s is 2. So that is sample space and cardinality of sample space. Number two, the result of your exam. That's the outcome. Number four, the event is math. That is event. Event only, no cardinality. Because, because we don't have we don't have n of e. Number five, uh, sunny and cloudy, n of e equals two. So this is event and cardinality of an event. Okay. So for your assignment, man, from the standard type of card, list down the elements of the following events and give its cardinality. An A's and a in. So you have two. You have two events. You want an ace and a queen. A two of clubs and a heart. A king of hearts and a spade. So what are the elements? And what is its cardinality? Okay, so if you, have, if you have a further question about our session, you can write it on the comment section. Again, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you, viewers. Let, let's see each other in the next session. Bye.